Hey, what's up? See my Josie. Okay, guys. Uh, today we're gonna look into um, how to find trends uh, in a stock. Um, it's part of uh, a technical analysis, as you as you know. It's part of a technical analysis um, because um, when you are, when you are attracted in a stock and uh, you like it and you think that the stock has a potential uh, to uh, do good in the future, it is uh, very important to look at the trends and uh, do your analysis, your research. So um, the finding a, a, a trend is, 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 is very, is very important before you take a position. So how do you find trends? Uh, you find trends by uh, looking at a chart. You can uh, use chart, uh, uh, open a chart, use like a trading view platform uh, and other platforms and open the charts and actually look at, at, at um, try and find. I, I, I like to like, uh, I recommend that you look at different time frames when you want to find trends, because if you look at Let's say you are looking at a four-hour time frame. It can be very deceiving, and you would think that that's the trend, but no, you know. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, open the charts and uh, look at like different, like four different uh, time frames, and then you will find a trend, and you'll be like, okay, I'm positive. This stock is going to uh, do good. You know what I'm saying? And then you can proceed with your opening your position. So. You open, <clears throat> so what, what you do if you want to find these trends is that because you know there is uptrends, there is sideways trend, there is a, a, an uptrend, right? There's three types of trends. Uptrend, downtrend, sideways. Uh, so in order to find this, you must open the charts and uh, actually and find it. So, uh, I would recommend that you, uh, when you want to find a trend, uh, start with a daily time frame, a daily time frame, and then go to four hour time frame, then break it down four hour time frame, and then um, and then go to like 30 minutes or 15 minute time frame. So mostly, uh, most traders uh, use a, a daily time frame because that's a longer time frame because you wanna. You want to go back as far as maybe five years back or maybe 10 years back in the stock. You just go maybe 10 years back and see how the stock has been performing um, uh, year over year, you know, and see how the stock has been performing from, you know, for all these years. You know what I'm saying? So in order to find that, you open the daily time frame and then you actually go back, like I said, and then you you can use tools like trend lines and uh, to find the trend. It's easy to find uh, trends uh, if you if you use trend lines. So uh, we're gonna quickly go to uh, my computer and then I'm gonna show you guys how to find those trends uh, in an easy way. I mean, uh, easy method. You know, uh, I use trend lines to to actually uh, find the trends because it is very important before you take a position. You put your hard earned money in the stock. It's very, it's very important to uh, find a trend and see where the stock is going, which direction the stock is, is taking. You know what I'm saying? It's very important. So guys, uh, without further ado, so I'm just gonna go through the computer and go take you through and I'll show you uh, how to actually find these trends. So yeah, I'm gonna have two stocks that I'm gonna make example off of, uh, Apple and Vodacom. So this is April daily time frame. Uh, as we can see here, uh, it's clear we have a, an, an uptrend uh, from um, from 2018 to 2021. And uh, yeah, I like to keep to keep things simple. I like to simplify things. Uh, I don't like to complicate things. So we can see here. So I can just draw a draw a trend line just to. I'll make it so yeah okay 
we have a nice trend line from 2018 to 20, 2021 as you can see here on uh, this date um on this date uh march this is march uh when COVID 19 hit um so we have this on uh, 2020 uh january when the COVID uh when what was it uh, march yeah march my bad march so the stock recovered from um because before before COVID-19, so the pre the pre COVID-19 share price was 80 bucks, as you can see here, it was 80 dollars uh, per share. So when the COVID hit, it went down to um it went down to 60 bucks, and 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 don't forget, folks, these stocks went uh, went to um last year it went for uh four a uh, four for one stock split so so the stock was trading at something like 200 and some change in march lows and then it went to a, a a stock split and then as you can see the price is 125 right now so the stock recovered well from the from from covid uh from covid lows and it went up as it, as you can see this v-shape it went up it kept going up so we have a, a nice uptrend from uh, 20 from 2018 uh, up to um, up to now so i would say the year to date performance is good uh, so we can go back like i said you can go back five years if you want and see the trend this is another trend here as you can see you can draw another line and see the performance this is another trend here let me delete this this is another trend here draw another line okay this is another line another trend okay okay so we see this is 20 2014 to 2018 nice uptrend so stock has been doing good so from year to from year uh for from or from or for a year over year performance i'm happy you know i can gladly put money in the stock in this stock because i see that it's 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 really moving and it's a good investment it's reliable and look this is now 20 no I've, you see I, i've gone back i've gone back 10 years 10 years 10 years you know just to make sure before i put money in a stock look 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 this is 2019 this is 2000 this is 2009 my bad 2009 to so, so 2000 and this is 2009 to, to 2013 very good so it took a dip here in 20 in the middle of 20 uh 20 2013 and it went back up 2014 and it's kept going so i am happy about the performance of this stock year a year to date performance and year over year so then I can look at another time frame. Like I said, guys, you can look at different time frames. And um, okay, hour the time frame. See, this is an hour the time frame. Okay, we have uh, just a little bit of sideways trend here. Okay, guys, let's check out uh, Vodacom. Vodacom. Vodacom South Africa. JSE okay this is this is vodacom this is vodacom right here um so as soon as i opened it i see a sideways open this is an hour the time frame the hour the time frame says side sideways trend it says sideways trend this is vodacom hour the time frame 
we see a sideways trend here. Sideways trend. It's kind of a sideways trend. Um, okay, let me go to daily time frame. Okay, I see a sideways trend still. Uh, this is a daily time frame. Uh, this is Vodacom, folks. Uh, so I see a sideways trend here. I see a sideways trend. Okay, let's go back and see how the stock has been performing. Uh, it's maybe five years or ten years. Okay. You can see here from 2010. From 2010. Uh, to. 2010 to 2014 okay this is 2010 to, to, to 2014 Vodacom uh, was been doing good was performing good for on, on those years so from 2010 to 2014 that's 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 a uh, that's a, a four years of um, you know uptrend, so the stock was trading at uh, in 2010 it was trading at something like 45 bucks, and um, within four years the stock skyrocketed to um, to 125 rands, and it's kept on going. So so what I see here okay okay then in 20 2018 um yeah the, the 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 trend ended so this the stock what happened is the stock uh, was had a, um, a reversal from 2018 the stock took uh, took another um, had a, a change it's changed the trend that's, that's what that's what happened it's changed its trend so we had a reversal you know so from 2018 it went down to 220 okay so the stock hit 180 or 180 rands in in, in 2018 and and then after that it, it, it went down to to 120s something like that so since from 20 from 2018 the stock has been going sideways until now so the stock has been going sideways from 2018 so in 2018 as you can see in the middle of the year uh, the stock went down it's it's it, it, it had a reversal and then since since 2018 the stock has been going sideways which means you have a, a high possibility of when you invest in in vodacom right now there is a possibility that this stock can go sideways for for three years more if things don't change you know what i'm saying so it's very important to to look at the stock uh, before you put money in it you see as you can see here it's been going sideways for three for for more than three years it's been going sideways for more than three years so the highest the highest share price is here was was 180 that was the the all-time high and after that 2006 took a turn okay that's it okay guys okay that's it from me see i'm a josie you know what it is okay guys take care um yeah uh before you take positions uh please do your research and your analysis and yeah and uh, that's it uh, please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos and uh, of course hit that 
bell so that you can get uh, notifications whenever I post uh, or upload more videos. Thank you very much. Take care, folks.